All right, we got two quests. I'm going to do the local quest first because the local quests tend to be closer. Uh, my squad's okay, right? Yeah, one of them's got a ripped ear. Light wounds. Nothing crazy. Oh, man. Four days? Okay. Well, we're not doing that one. Get fucked. Okay. A road patrol's not bad. 48 crowns per head, up to 35 heads. Running a little bit low on food. So I think I'll buy a little bit of food. I'm gonna buy the wood now, just in case it like restocks while I'm off. And a little bit of uh, equipment as well. Don't think I need to fiddle with getting any more recruits right now. I'm a little tempted to get like one. Honestly, I, I really just genuinely need armor. So the next time we're in uh, Toddsburg or whatever. Rollerstead. Toddsburg. <laughs> Next time we're in Rollerstead, we'll just have to buy some shit. Alright, Lonsberg, do you got any goodies? Got pelts that are overly expensive. Oh, Rip Arena. There's gonna be people, right? On the roads? It isn't just like random spawns. I guess I'm gonna just uh, travel around a little bit. Bro, are they literally gonna just pay me to walk around? That's so not cool. I'll hit up this road up here where there's the 12 Berrigans last time. You got a four day deadline, so. No reason I can't go over to, say, Rollerstead, get, like, a good set of armor. <gasps> oh, I'm out of food? Fuck. How do I go through so much food each day? Do I have a bunch of, like, fatties? Well, fuck me, dude. Everyone's gonna be pissed off now. Okay, I could get a... Oh, this... The wood planks are selling for godlike amounts. Let's actually go. Alright, I could get a... Uh, 150 and 130. Well, maybe not both. Let's see if there's any, like, things I can sell. Okay, yeah, I can get both. Oh, baby. Could get a crazy helmet too, but... It's extraordinarily expensive. I'm so sorry, Thorismund. Anyways, uh, Magnus, you can get the super armor. We'll work on helmets later. And uh, Hjalmar, you can get the next best thing. So dude in t-shirt and jeans can get some actual armor. Hopefully they don't like run off and just steal my shit. Oh fuck me dude, these roads are so safe. Is that footsteps down there? No. Oh my god, brother. Dude, I hope these guys don't get pissed off at me. Alright, maybe I'll take a quick trip to the west. Try to find, like, an encampment. I'm sure there's gonna be one out here. Surely. Ah, oh, there's old footsteps. It's too old. Uh, fight again, man against man, in shape to carry real armor. Awesome. What? Dude. Plus one melee skill, melee skill, melee skill, melee defense, melee skill, melee defense. You know, that makes me unbummed about the... Finding no people for fucking four days straight. Is everyone still disgruntled? 
Yeah. Oh my god, dude. What's this? Where the hell are the heads I was gonna pay you for? Shrugging, you explain that there's no trouble in the patrol. What? Really? I mean, I guess that's good and all, but damn, just didn't expect that. I uh, suppose you didn't either. You stare at each other. A bird coos to fill the silence. The man sips his wine and glances out his window. So interesting weather today, yeah? You roll your eyes. Tragic. Let's see. Come on, bro. Fucksburg. Actually, you know. I like Fucksburg. It's a nice location. So I'm willing to do it just for that. That was a lot of travel. Oh, baby. Combat. Please. I need it. Okay, can I get someone with, like, a backline weapon? Can't be Magnus. Could be Hjalmar. Because the, the everyone on the frontline lifestyle. Not super fan of. Oh my god, I left my shit paused. So I, got, I put two people on the backline. There's Balder now, he's got an axe. Uh, it's a little unfortunate that that one dude got shot. I'm just gonna move my line up by two. It's gonna be like a little bit sketchy, but I think it's fine. Oh, I can get the spear wall up. Uh, I'm gonna need to hide the trees. So this whole front top area is just screwed. I guess I'm just going to want probably a heavy armored dude. Well, you know what? I'll start moving these dudes up. Hjalmar can go over here. Uh, I guess I'll creep the line forward a little bit more. So I can like skewch more people in. Uh, that's kind of rude. It's extremely rude. Uh, this guy can wait. Axeman's gonna move forward. Please wait, good sirs. Nice. Guess I'll move over here. And the wild man can scooch in here. Adler can in turn. That's amazing. Let's actually go. Okay, that dude's just straight up dead. You can chill for a bit. I guess I wasted these turns. Big oopsie there. No biggie. Okay, that's fucking absolutely horrendous. We need to get pressure on this crossbow man. Dude, how are these crosswomen fucking my shit up so much? Are you serious? My fucking crossbow man can't do that shit. Alright, well he's just almost dead now. My spearman can just shield up. X-Man. Boom, let's go. We can start pincering these guys. That's glorious. Magnus, you're kind of super effed. Genuinely, I don't think he should engage. Oh, crap. I guess I'll just lock down. Get my pole arm and pole axe guys in the position to help out. Alright, please don't die to the hillbilly. What the fuck? What are they doing? Well, whatever, I'm all here for it. Uh, I can move my guy up here now. Honestly, I think the axe guys are in a good position. They just need to 
rotate the wounded guy out. Here we go. Uh, let's get this archer dead. Oh, they are marksmen. That would explain it. I think I might need to actually turn up the heat a little bit. Now they're running away. Uh, I guess my long axe guy can come up here. There's just one danger in this whole map now, pretty much. I was hoping to get that uh, shield destroyed. It's over. Fuck it. I could get a little bit more XP, but we got shit to do. It's kind of irritating. I was hoping that would be more of a breeze. Well, everyone with an injury gets to go into the tank for a while. I'm going to leave some of my semi-injured people around just in case we get jumped. The learner can... Let's see, I have abysmal everything. Except for defense, maybe. I'm just going to give him Colossus. So his HP can become non-terrible. We'll level up the other guys later. So that is less relevant. Uh, we probably should go to Norheim just to get food. So we burn through that shit crazy. Oh, the Pete's relatively cheapish here. But honestly, I want to wait until uh, at least after this quest is done. Hell yeah. So we got a one star quest and shit's kind of fucky here. Everyone except for the turbo injured people are healed. I'm definitely gonna just chill for a day, I think. Can get this quest done later. Once my fighting force isn't like completely screwed. Adler probably could be wearing, yeah, some armor. Same with Adelbert. What is Earhart's path? He's a Polar Master, crazy guy. With mostly good perks. I mean, killing friends, he goes really hard with Berserk. I could also maybe just hook him up with a Nimble. And reduce his armor slightly. He isn't really that, that tanky, but he's got a very good base hit points. Fearsome would be pretty funny as well. Honestly, I think killing Frenzy makes the most sense. It's either that or like Iron Brow or something. Plus three attack is actually amazing. And he's got pretty good stamina. So I'm going to give him a little bit of HP. Level up Adler real quick. He has no real like special characteristics and has the stats to do whatever he wants basically. His HP is really, 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 really good. Maybe I do want him to be like a nimble guy if he can survive that long. I think I'll go for it. Meanwhile, Liebwin, you are definitely a tank type dude. Uh, you don't really need melee to hit. I think I'm gonna just go for stamina. And of course, if you're gonna be a tank, you're gonna want a Colossus. And I'm probably gonna want like Iron Will and all sorts of other goodies. I see the one star quest has been uh, replaced with the two star Marty. But you know what? That's fine by me. We'll maybe attack these brigands at night. So that will allow us to maybe heal. And also protect us from the range attacks. Probably not going to heal in time, but it'd be what it'd be. And just some marksmen and raiders. The same type of force that completely screwed us up. Would it be, would it be? Alright. This guy might take a blow. I'm going to put his shield up. Very cool. 
On the positive side, we're gonna have like amazing range cover. And like half of our dudes are uh, full arm dudes. Those enemies might not want to engage. Well, whatever, I'm willing to. Oh! Alright, maybe we play a little bit advanced here. Start putting pressure on them. If we have dudes in melee, I think it makes it where they're more likely to also get in melee. Especially with us pressuring them with the range techs. Oh my god, dude. Yeah, they're coming now. Let's go. They've fallen for the trap. No, I'm just happy I got hit that one. Glorious. Oh, let's go. That's what I'm talking about. Honestly, Axeman might as well just... Well, I'll move him up one. So, big axe man, you can chop the shield off. Honestly, I'm just going to go for a normal swing on this guy, because I don't want to give him plus 25% damage. And boom, let's go. Your side's a pretty bad injury, if I remember correctly. So that is nice. Oh my god, the guy's got a war brand. Holy shit, dude. Oh, glorious. That was such good RNG. Alright, let's see. Is anyone going for this guy? Yeah. Alright, get that shield. Uh, Axeman, you might as well wait. Let's fucking go. Honestly, just chill, brother. We're golden. Oh, baby. This is how the... And this is what I thought last round was going to be. Well, let's just chill for a little bit. Let them approach. I'll have Lionheart. Just get ready to spring into action. Okay, that's kind of a bad situation. Well, we can move the front line up a little bit. And Magnus just absolutely goon this guy. Can I swing over this? Dude, let's go. Uh, I would prefer Magnus to Adelbert in here. So we can have this guy wait. You, sir, are going to get your shield chopped. Honestly, what's the odds I can push this guy down one? Uh, that would do nothing. Alright, just kill him. Oh, kill him! Weed and kind. You're gonna need your shield up. I'm gonna reposition my javeliner. My Magnus. His helmet's falling apart. He's got no shield. Ah, oh, cringe. Oh, it is what it is. Uh, you might as well start moving around the side, Adelbert. Oh my god, dude. It's just fucking shit up. Ugh. Rimald, get some axes out, por favor. That's great. That's not great. Hell yes, here we go. It's the momentum we needed. Honestly, Thorsmund, just shield wall up. And Magnus, your full HP, you can just get in there. That's those archers dealt with. 
try as you might, you're not gonna do shit. Just gonna move our terrifying pole arms into reach. Be nice to get Magnus to dome. Yeah, these guys. Just because it gives us a little bit of a higher chance equipment. Alright, so we got fractured hands, pretty bad. And the deep abdominal cut. And minor injuries on air hard. But we got three level ups. And a bunch of goodies, including some okay hats. Pretty happy with that. We can just immediately return to Fuxburg. Adalbert. Oh yeah, didn't you just level up last time too? Well, with a two roll on the attack, I'm willing to go for that. Uh, don't think I had a plan for him. Guess I'll give him a little bit of morale. Honestly, he's really kind of average other than his HP. Maybe I was going for HP tankery with him as well. Seems kind of like a bad idea. I don't think he's going to be super duper special, especially with his like rolling, though. Can't really take dodge. Just going to do Colossus, get him up to a cool 100 HP. Leonhard, you can get student. And a little bit of HP. Thorismund. You were going to be a super tank. So you will also get HP. You're up to a clean 80, which is... Okay. Balder. You've already got a huge amount of hit points. You don't really need any more. Uh, if he is going to end up being a polearm guy, then... We're not going to really need recover. His will kind of sucks. I'll give him Fortified Mind. I'll put a couple more guys in the tank. We're going to really have to chill for a little while. At this rate. Or hire more dudes. One of the two. Well, there's no more dudes to hire. Tools are kind of relatively cheap. Here. Which is cool. I'm willing to buy two of them. Bandies are expensive as hell. Might as well sell some of my numerous extra sets of arrows. And other assorted garbage. Okay, we got collectors. Oh no, I don't have any beast trophies. That's really unlucky. Is there a temple? There's not a temple. There's a tavern. Wait, Coven of No Return? It's been haunting Norheim since before I was born. Folks say some armor from the gods is sealed there for all time. Hmm. I wonder if there's any truth to that. Well, there's a one-star noble quest. He wants me to kill goblins. Yeah, that's fine. I can kill goblins. I mean, I literally don't I have another kite shield in my inventory. Yeah, you can have it. <laughs> Lean hard the axe. By the time we get to Fuxburg. Oh, it's up there. Dude, why are all the goblins up there? Hold on. Map 700. Oh my god, dude. That's the place the dude sets the super armor. How much money do I have? Like 2k? Ah, oh, fuck it, I'll buy it. We even had... Fuck. Dude, why can't we just, like, go kill that guy? I didn't realize there was a risk associated with that. Fuck me, dude. Secret Chambers of Insanity? 
Necromancer, Wilderganger's Fallen Hero. That's a later quest location, I think. Okay, hold on. The squad's still kind of effed. How many goblins are we talking? It's a one-star quest. It should just be like a dozen, maybe at most. Honestly, Thorsmund. My pierced arm muscles one day. Okay, if I camp for a little bit. Yeah, let's camp until nightfall. Hopefully these goblins are going to have food or else I'm going to be a little fucked. Okay, you know what? Never mind. I was going to fight at nightfall to avoid the archer fire, but... Just makes too much sense to, uh... Not starve to death. Just going to move the line up as much as I possibly can. Earhart's got the movement ability, huh? Once we can get up to this fortification, it will uh, protect our front line a bit. I mean, most of these goblins don't even have bows. Looks like they all have the rebels, though, which is kind of cringe on their part. Oh, it is what it is. Okay, we got goblins moving up. That's really bold of them. It's going to shield me a little bit from goblin fire. So, you know, happy about that. I mean, unless I just miss over and over. Okay, <laughs> he got a pure slum. Let's go. Two goblinos dead. That's what I like to see. We'll get this thrower dealt with and move up the line even more. That's what I'm talking about. Fuck him up, Magnus. That was only a 35% chance. I'm not too upset. Yeah, you're screwed, buddy. I would've went for the shield chomp, but he's going first. So I wanted to, again, avoid the 25% bonus damage. These goblins have really high to hit skill stuff. Okay, that shield's gonna need to go. All right. Let's see. Hell yes, Adler. That's what I'm talking about. It's nice positioning. These poor evil creatures are fucked now. Alright, chop that shield. Good sir, thank you very much. Might as well move up. Just provide that uh, wondrous... Bonus to hit. Better cool. He got a broken hand, so his, uh, his to hit should be lowered by 25%. The rest of this match is just going to be us collapsing on the goblins. Hopefully without too many surprises at this point. That went relatively okay. And they did have food. Let's go. I was very concerned about that. Oh, baby. So our two level of ups. Rumold, you're our dedicated archer dude. A lot more to hit, a little bit more fatigue, uh, more range defense. 
Honestly, we could just give him the Throne Weapon Mastery right now. I don't think there's anything else crazy that he needs. And I want him to be like a hybrid thrower. Type of Duder. The other guy. Lean hard the axe. The man with the great potential to not suck eventually. Can... Get a little bit of HP, I guess. I kind of am tempted to give him Colossus so that he's just fine on HP and I won't have to worry about it. I wasn't going to get that. Let's see, his initiative kind of sucks. Fortified Mind would be nice. I think I'll give him that. If the endgame crisis is undead, that would be very helpful. Okay. Looks like the... <laughs> Way game crisis is the green skin invasion. Well, that is something. How healthy is our squad? Pretty healthy. The undead's not attacking us. Alright, they absolutely annihilated the undead. Well, that's very cool. We got Disappearing Villagers, which is not great. I think stuff's even more expensive here than last time. Get some bandies, and those tools are way too overpriced. I'm just gonna sell some green skin junk. I guess we're gonna be seeing a whole lot more of them in the coming future. I'm, uh, I'm not going to say I'm confident, but I think we, as a squad, we have many low-level dudes, but a few, like, standout dudes who are level 8. So maybe we'll be able to scrape by, hopefully. Hopefully. 